Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Swift Coding for Everyone. I'm St. R. Edwards. Thank you guys for joining me. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about tab views. So in the last lesson, we learned how to switch from one view controller to another view controller using segways. Well, there comes a time and place in your apps where it's getting bigger and bigger, and you may want a different style of a transition from view controllers and tab views and tab bar items can help you do that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open up a new project through Xcode. And I'm gonna go ahead and get this going so we can stick with single view app. And we're gonna call this rainbow tabs. Or you can call it whatever you like. And we can save it to our desktop or to our projects folder. Yeah, I'll just save it to projects folder. That's where we should be saving things to, right? So I'll save it there to projects and I'm gonna make this bigger. Alrighty, cool. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my assets folder here and I'm gonna drag all of the assets from the student resources file for this project to the assets file. I had them already selected. I'm gonna X out of that now. It's just a bunch of images with the B and the G and the O and the R and the Y for all our different colors that are gonna represent our view controllers for this lesson. All right, so we got that drug in and now I'm gonna rename my view controller because I already know from reading ahead that, we got that. <laughs> that this view controller is gonna be our red VC. So instead of doing it at the end, I'm gonna do it in the beginning to kind of help make things easier. So you can double click on your view controller name, uh, the file name for this class, and you'll right click and you'll say refactor and you can go rename. And I'm just gonna say red VC and I'm gonna hit rename or you can just hit enter, but I'm gonna hit rename up here. And so that file name changed and then I'm gonna go to the storyboard and you can already see that that file name had already changed to red VC, so perfect. And with the file selected, I'm gonna go up to editor and I'm going to go down to embed in, instead of navigation control, I'm gonna to go to tab bar controller. It's gonna manage a group of tabs for us, tab bars. All right, so we got that up and running and I'm gonna select my red VC on interface builder and over in the attributes inspector, I'm going to select my background and I'm going to change it to red. For you, it may not already be up on recently used colors. You can just go down here to other and you can change your selection from, it might be defaulted to this one. You can scroll over to red if you want to by using that. Or you could go over to uh, this one, to the color uh, picker like this where you see the, the labels for them, and you can select red, and bam, there you go. All right, so we got that one set up. Perfect. And that is one of our view controllers, and we're gonna add another one. So add another view controller to your interface builder, and put it right underneath the one that we already have for our red one, and we're gonna scroll in. Well, what I wanna do now is I want to click on the tab bar controller itself up here with the orange circular icon. I'm gonna control click and drag from there all the way down to our new one that we just created. And for the different type of a relationship, we wanna select view controllers, relationship segue. So we wanna add that to our array. So we're gonna select that and we are going to change this color to orange. So over in Attributes Inspector for this new view controller, we're gonna select it, we'll go to Other, and we'll select Orange. Bam, easy as that. All right, so tab bar controllers. So you can also obviously update and modify the actual tab bar items. So tab bar items, come with two things. It comes with an image and then it comes with a label. It's as simple as that. You may have seen tab bar items in your 
in your clock app on your iOS device, such as, you know, you have your world clock, you've, you've got your alarm, you've got the stopwatch, so on and so forth, a few other ones as well. Another app that you may have used a lot, obviously, is the App Store app, where you've got your favorites represented by the star, you've got the categories, it's like a file cabinet opening up, you've got your updates, um, bar item, and you also have the search with the magnifying glass and a few more that you may have seen in the App Store, all right? And so with our red one selected, we can go over to our attributes inspector and we can actually select an image that will be defaulted to um, or defaulted on our app once we run it. And then you can also make it a, uh, you can make it a selection as well. So this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna, for the image, or actually don't worry about that right now. So for title, we're gonna change this to red. And then for image, we're gonna just select R. Or you can do the drop down, and you can see that R is selected or you can select R because it's one of the ones that we drug in to our assets file. Now you can also change or add a selected image. So when the red tab bar is selected itself, the image can change. And that was a part of our, our assets that we uh, drug into our project. So we can hit the drop down here and we can select R selected. And as you can see, our R, our, our image just changed. All right, now select the tab bar item down here at the at the very bottom, the tab bar itself, and for the orange, and we're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna change the title from item to orange, O-R-A-N-G-E, and for our image, we're just gonna select the O, the normal O itself. All right, as you can see, that changed, and then for the selected image, we're gonna just select select it bam easy as that all right so we're gonna go ahead and build and run our app here at this point I'm gonna change my simulator to an iPhone 8 I'm gonna go command R we're gonna see what we got all right Here we go, here we go, here we go, yo. All right, so right now our red is selected. As you can see, we've got the blue background and the translucent R and also our label itself is blue. So now when we wanna click on the orange one, let's see what happens. So as you can see, our red changed, our red label and image changed and also the orange selected background popped up and the orange view controller itself popped up. All right, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and stop it now. Something else you can do with customizing your, your app or your bar item is by adding a badge. So you've seen it many times in the app store. If something, if something was new in your app and you wanted to let your users know that, hey, there's an update to something, you can add an exclamation mark, which will appear as a red, a red image with a you know a white exclamation mark with white text so this is what we can do so we can change it here in interface builder or within attrib attributes inspector so we can just select one of our hey let's do it on the orange one so the orange one is selected right now right so we're going to go up to our badge value over the attributes inspector and we're just going to add an exclamation mark and as you can see, it already popped up. So if you were to build and run this, your app right now, you will see that it was added. You can also do this programmatically. All right, so since our red view controller is the only view controller we have right now, let's try to do this programmatically as well. So under the view did load area, we can delete that comment right now. This is what we can do. We can say bar, I'm sorry, yeah, tab bar item tab bar item dot badge value and we'll say equals we'll put the exclamation mark in the middle surrounded by the quotation marks and we can build and run our app and you will see that both of our view controllers that we have right now will have the exclamation mark 
denoting that there's more information or there's an update um, within our uh, tab bar items. Look at that, bam. So our R selected right now, then, then, we've, then we've got the O selected, which we did in Interface Builder. All right, so we can stop this now. And then you can just delete this if you don't want it no more on your on your R uh, view controller, or you can just say, you can just use nil. All right, and if you build and run it again, command R, you will see that, you'll see that it's no longer there. All right, cool. So we took away from our R view controller, but it's still on our O, which is what we uh, knew it would do. All right, so I'm gonna stop it there. Go back to our main storyboard file. And yeah, so we can also play around with the different um, tab bar uh, items. So right now we've got the, as you can see, we've got the default um, uh, image. I'll just stop it there. So that's it for this lesson, guys. This is Sainar Edwards with Swift Coding for Everyone. You guys stay tuned for the next video because we're going to add more tab bar items and we're going to do some other things too. All right, so stay tuned for more. This is Ski checking out. You guys take care.